Alright, so just to give you an example of why uh, sometimes you want to use the time stretching feature instead of just dragging back over top of a, of a gap. So what this is, this is a, a note that Pete played in his solo where he's pulling off from one pitch to the next. Um, now, with this kind of thing, you really don't want to just grab it and drag it back. If you notice, I don't know if you can see in the video, but the old, you know, this waveform is slightly higher than the other one. And what will happen is you'll hear it go quieter and then louder and it'll make like an artifact and make it sound slightly strange. So usually what I do is if I've got everything cut up real close to the waveform, I'll sort of drag back to give a little bit of a gap. And then you just take the little hand to the top. I know we're in DP8, so things look a little different than 5. But you just grab, get the little hand on the top of your waveform. And then you just drag it over. And it just stretches out the sound bite a bit. Um, if you don't make it too extreme, it'll do it and it'll be pretty much seamless. You know, everything you got to double check just to be sure. Mm -hmm. And then if I just drag back a bit, you notice now the, the little point is pretty much seamless. It's not going back up. Um... So I'll do the same thing over here. Um, if I drag across, you see how the other that file pops out, or the 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 sound bite will pop out early, and then that'll give it sort of an awkward sound. So I'm gonna do the same sort of thing. I dragged over just a little bit, and then gonna just drag across, and then that should pretty much make it seamless. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, and that's basically the process and why you want to use the time stretching feature at times. Um, you just have to be, you know, double double check it that you're uh, that you're not creating, you know, sound artifacts or that kind of, you know, sort of problem. So, you know, I'm gonna hit Control F to create some fades. Um, <clears throat> put them on equal power. You can't see it's on my other screen. Um, and then you get these little blue guys, and the blue ones are just telling you that there isn't enough like sound data to really create a smooth fade. So then what I do is I just sort of roll it back a bit and then it'll turn orange which will tell me that uh, that it made a smooth fade sometimes they're like too large to do it and if you make them smaller they'll they'll turn into blue or they'll turn from blue into the orange like that so that's basically the process